All right, so since I just had the opportunity to pull with Devin Larratt and I've already pulled with John Brzezink, I want to make a video talking about what it's like to pull each of them and kind of the differences between their styles. So I pulled Brzezink, that was almost a year ago now, it was back in last December, I believe. And when I pulled him, I had pulled Bob Brown right before and my pronator was completely destroyed on the right. So then Brzezink comes up right after I pulled Bob Brown, took him down twice again, it's practice, so who cares? But then Brzezink comes in, he just pretty much stonewalled me in center table, wasn't even going offensive, but just holding me. His wrist felt incredible. That was a year ago, I know I'm a lot stronger now. And when I pulled Devin, when I got to pull Devin, I was actually fresh when we pulled and he had pulled, you know, he goes to practice, he's pulling every single person there. Well, I'll say Brzezink was a little bit more selective with who he pulled in practice. If you wanted to stay fresher, you definitely pulled Brandon Allen a lot that practice and pulled several other people when we pulled a year ago. But the main difference is just, I would say Brzezink, the thing that stands out with him was his wrist, insanely strong wrist and hook and just, just complete domination in the center. When I pulled Devin, it was just the, the rise and the pronation was just unbelievable and the endurance, those, those three factors were the main main things from Devin, especially the main thing I learned from pulling him is just not to not to hold on so much to just pronate, especially out of the strap. There's no reason to really be holding on if you can if you can, you know, bail out, use your pronator, rise and make someone hold on to you. You never want to be holding on to the other person. That's the the main thing when it comes to arm wrestling that takes a while to learn instead of just always trying to like as a beginner, sometimes you want to just squeeze them as hard as you can in the setup. But then someone who's smart will be able to manipulate that and, you know, pronate through your hands. So you have to be selective with the pressures that you give in, in a, well, in a match, but just in general in arm wrestling, you have to be precise with your pressures and don't hold on if it's not advantageous to you. So it's definitely awesome to pull both of them and it's just so cool since I've been, you know, looking up to these high level arm wrestlers to actually be able to arm wrestle with them is just amazing. It makes me want to improve even more and progress even more. And I know what I need to work on each time I get on the table, each time I compete. So it's super cool. Hopefully I'll be able to pull Michael Todd sometime and, you know, other, other legends in the sport, just so I can see their styles in person, actually feel it and know what I need to work on to one day be at that level because one day I'm gonna be at that level so just wanted to make a quick video talking about pulling Brzezink pulling Devin kind of my thoughts on it but yeah more arm wrestling content coming soon